live from the CBS Broadcast Center in New York City, this is CBS 2 News at 11. Punched, smacked, knocked unconscious to the ground out of nowhere by a stranger. Could you be the next target for this sick game? Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. It is called the Knockout Game. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has new information on how the NYPD is taking action. Teenagers are jumping on a brutal bandwagon knockout. Videos from New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania getting hit after hit on social media, showing hit after hit on innocent victims. Here is a 50-year-old school teacher punched with so little warning there wasn't any time to brace or break this fall. Now in Brooklyn, the latest victim to come forward so is the 78-year-old mother of this woman who's too afraid to show her face on camera. My family is very frightened. The attack on her mother in the middle of the day in Midwood left a huge knot on the back of her head. None of her belongings were even touched. She had her purse and she had bags from department stores. Nothing was even, there was not even an attempt to take anything from her. This was simply a wanton act to hurt another human being. Her mother did not need to go to the hospital. In that sense, she was lucky. In Hoboken in September, these three teens seen in this video were arrested and charged with attacking 46-year-old Ralph Santiago. His head slammed into this fence with such force it killed him. Since October, there have been four attacks in Crown Heights. In this video, an Israeli man is surrounded. The picture is fuzzy, but you can tell he is getting punched, but not robbed. State Assemblyman Dove Hyken points out every victim in Brooklyn has this one thing in common. It happens to be a Jew in each and every case. We just learned police will take these ugly videos to city schools and lecture teens on the serious consequences. But Hyken and fearful members of the community want much more than that. I'm for people being arrested. That would be the best education in the world. Do you have a message for them? How would you feel if this was happening to you or to a member of your family? If you don't like it to happen. Police will visit 15 schools in Brooklyn to teach teens about the dangers of this so-called knockout game.